welcome to this new episode of Sip and Sketch. I think fall is about to start here in Germany and I'm so happy. Like the weather is so nicely cold and it's just so nice. So today we are going to go to Cafe Moody in Stuttgart. And this is going to be a very chill and relaxing Sip and Sketch episode. So I just want you to take out your art supplies while I'm about to catch my train. And yeah, I just want to really enjoy this day with you. So come along with me. Welcome to beautiful Cafe Moody. This is our location for today. I love this place so much. It's such a nice location. I love the exterior. I love the interior. So let's take a look inside. I love the furniture, I love the artwork, I love all the plants inside. So let's find the seat for today. Maybe what about this place in front of the Monstera? So I ordered myself a rhubarb drink and this delicious bowl right here. Whenever food is really colorful, I just enjoy it so much more. And by the way, do you know what else I really enjoy? If you could like and subscribe. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So you guys, I love to read. I think after art, like next to art, I absolutely love to read. So let me know down below, what's your current book read? Okay, my current read is Hässlichkeit by Moshtari Hillel. It's a beautiful book, but it's only available in German. So now I change my spot. I always do that when I'm in a cafe. So this is my new spot. And also, let's take a look outside, because this place has such a nice exterior. And this balcony section right here, I think it's so cute, especially in summer. I came here with my friend and we had such a good time. Just really, really beautiful. I love whenever there are plants inside a cafe. It just feels so much more cozier. I don't know why. <laughs> And now it's time to take out our art supplies for today. So you're gonna see in a minute, I'm gonna start with this very small sketchbook. I use this to experiment with new art supplies and it's more like a warm up sketch. So I really like to just have a sketchbook with me whenever I just wanna explore something new. And that's what I'm doing right here. And you guys, I love to draw furniture. I don't know why, but it just makes me so happy if there are like nice furniture pieces and I can just draw them and paint them.
Okay, so we are now soon done with the drawing part. I really like how this drawing is turning out. I should have left it just like that, but that's fine. Sometimes I experiment and it's not turning out very well. Like I could have made some different decisions, but that's okay. That's what I have these kind of sketchbooks with me just to try out new things, just to explore and not take myself like too seriously, if that makes sense. So here are the materials that I really want to try out. Um, these are like watercolor brush pens, whatever. And I saw other artists use these and they work so nicely with these. Like the layering they did with these, so nice. And I was so interested to try them out because they are so pigmented, just already out of the pen. And that's what I just want to try right here, just to work with these. And it's so funny whenever I use something new, I always feel like a total beginner and I think that's so fun with art because you never learn everything like there's always something new to learn So here's my finished sketch. It's this cute corner right there. And I really like how it turned out. It's just just for fun. This was just for fun. This is my victim for today. This poor young lady is going to uh, be my model for today. So for those of you who watch my videos for a while now, you know that I love to start with a drawing for my urban sketches or like these type of sketches that I do. I've been doing these like for a few years now and that's more like my comfort zone. I know what to expect, I know how to work. I really enjoyed just creating this drawing and I know sometimes people ask me like how I work whenever I create these sketches and I have to say by now I really don't think too much about it like whenever I want to start a sketching I know what I want to draw as soon as I see like the object that really interests me and then I just go for it I think it's just muscle memory by now and I think any one of you who is like comfortable with a certain type of method be that painting drawing whatever a specific medium you will know that that at a certain point you just stop to think about oh why did I make this decision and it's just more like intuition and that's what I'm currently doing whenever I do these sketches it's just more intuition because I've been really doing this for a long time and I remember in the past it wasn't that easy for me to create these sketches because I was thinking a lot and I think there's just a stage in that process whenever you start something new and you want to understand something new so all I can advise you is to just go with your gut just do whatever feels right go with with your interest if there's something like a topic or something that you're really interested at just go for it and dedicate some time to it because of course you won't be the greatest at the beginning but over time you will definitely get better at whatever you are newly trying
So our base is done now, we are done with the sketching part or like drawing part and now it's time for some good old painting magic. I think that looks good, right? Yeah. So let's take out our painting materials. This is going to be fun. Let's get started! So I always spray my watercolors. I always have this tiny spray bottle with me. This makes like your watercolors a little bit more moist. And these are my brushes as always. What I love about watercolors especially is that you can layer them. You can create different effects just by layering different colors on top and different values. So that's something I really enjoy about watercolors. <music> this golden warm golden yellow color right here i think it was such a good match with the rest of the painting i really like this i really like this color and overall the atmosphere <laughs> in the background hey hey <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm adding the very last details to my sketch for today with this white pen right here and yeah what's something that you really enjoy to do like I'm always so interested in what your favorite things are to do so what's something you love to do and when was the last time you did that thing that you love so much and if it's been a while maybe this is like your sign to go for it and do that thing again that brings you so much joy here we go you guys this is the finished sketch i absolutely love it so here's my sketch for today as you can see and this is our view so thank you to my model who doesn't know that i did that really really like the sketch and the spread in my sketchbook i really like the colors As always, now it's time to say bye and to clean up everything. So I'm just packing up everything and yeah, opening a new page is also very exciting. It's time to go home. I had such a nice day at Cafe Moody. Um, I really liked my sketch at the end. It was more like a vintagey vibe with the color scheme. I also love the interior design at this cafe. So I had a lot of fun just sketching that girl sitting there working at her place and also sketching that mid-century uh, furniture. So yeah, I'm gonna take my train and go home and I'm so excited to see you next week. So I wish you a good time and see you then. Bye! <laughs>